It was a crime that shocked people here and around the country. A mother and her 12-year-old son gang raped and tortured for hours at their Dunbar Village apartment in 2007. Now, one of the four young men convicted in that crime has been resentenced. News Channel 5's Liz Flynn is live with the details. And first off, Liz, why did this happen? Well, Nathan Walker was sentenced to life in prison without parole back in 2009 when he was convicted of the crime. But because of a Supreme Court ruling last year that juveniles cannot be sentenced to life in prison for any crime less than murder, Walker was back right here this afternoon to learn his new fate. Now, while he will not be spending life in prison any longer, he also will not be getting out anytime soon. Mr. Walker, I hereby sentence you to 60 years in the Department of Corrections, followed by 10 years of sex offender probation. Judge Crystal Marks handed down her sentence to Nathan Walker for a second time. In 2009, she convicted him and two co-defendants to life in prison without parole. A jury convicted them of the horrific gang rape and torture of a mother and her 12-year-old boy in West Palm Beach's Dunbar Village. Now, because of the Supreme Court's ruling, he was back again. Walker talked about his time in prison and how he's trying to improve himself. I myself, I, like some, some just they come in there, no steal and all that stuff. I never stole, never, I never took nothing from nobody. I just stay out of trouble. His attorney asked for a 20-year sentence with credit for time served, but Judge Marks held firm. Nathan wanted less, of course. Anything is better than uh, dying in there for sure. So a term of years is always hopeful, but we had hope for a less term of years. The new sentence, while not life behind bars, was a disappointment to Walker's family and friends, who left the courtroom upset and in tears. Now, another man who was also convicted in that crime with Walker, Tommy Poindexter, is currently serving a life sentence. But because he was 18 years old at the time the time was com that crime was committed, his sentence is not changing. Live in suburban West Palm Beach, Liz Flynn, WPTV News Channel 5.